What is happening guys? Today we got some new information about the Gala region including some new Pokemon and some new forms. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about this. In this video I'm going to be showcasing uh, the new stuff that we got also. Just kind of explaining my thoughts about it. And uh, yeah, so the first bit of information I do want to talk about is that we actually got Galarian forms. Uh, so this was actually something that I was definitely looking forward to and hoping that was going to be included in this region. And uh, I really like the idea of the uh, forms changing depending on the region. I was a big fan of the Alolan forms. Uh, they're kind of goofy overall, but I think that they do have a lot of potential. And uh, so yeah, they only hit us with a couple Galarian forms, but uh, it does give us a nice taste to see uh, what is to come in the future. But to start things off, we have got a Galarian Zigzagoon, which I thought was totally random. I, I did not expect Zigzagoon to be getting a new form, but this is pretty cool. I do really like the new color palette. And the biggest talking point about Zigzagoon is obviously that it is now uh, dark and normal type, which is pretty cool. He's got the black and white going and uh, definitely looks a lot better than regular Zigzagoon. I think this is obviously going to be one of the more common Galarian forms. They did actually mention uh, that these things reside in both the wilderness and the cities, and they're pretty much everywhere. And yeah, so obviously with Zigzagoon, we do get a Galarian form for its evolved form, which is the Boy Lanoon. And almost always, this thing is really similar to Zigzagoon in that it just keeps the pickup and gluttony ability and it stays dark and normal type. Uh, I do think that is an interesting type, um, but I don't really see it being all that competitively viable. Um, but this thing could have some interesting uh, dark stab moves that could come from this. Uh, I do also think that it could really benefit from uh, a stat raise in both speed and attack. Uh, it'll probably be quite the glass cannon and that these things are already pretty quick. Uh, but uh, get a belly drum up with this bad boy and it's gonna be it's gonna be doing some damage It can definitely benefit from the dual stab um, But it doesn't like uh, Doesn't like fighting type moves at all. You take a mock punch uh, You're dead as hell. So that is Lanoon and then here's where we got a curveball. This is the boy Obstagoon So this thing looks like Gene Simmons from Kiss and it is pretty badass I actually really do like the design of this thing um, the first thing that I noticed is that it's rocking the uh, Reckless and Guts abilities. Um, so I personally see the Reckless ability becoming pretty damn nice for this thing. Um, the first thing I think about is Double Edge. Uh, getting a stab Double Edge with a Reckless is going to be pretty powerful. Uh, like I said, we don't know anything really about the stats or anything more about this, but I do see this thing being quite the powerhouse. And uh, they really turned the Zigzagoon line into something that I could definitely see myself using. Um, so this thing gets up on two feet and he's ready to uh, pretty much just rock out. This thing is super punk rock and I do like the design style that they went with for uh, this evolution line. But that is pretty damn awesome. Um, Pokemon's hitting us with stuff that we're really not expecting and that's kind of just all I can hope for. Also, on the Pokemon website, there is some more information about this thing. So I mentioned evolution spurred on by a harsh environment. Uh, the Lanoon of Gala region live in harsh conditions compared to those found in other regions with fierce competition of others of their species. Uh, their survival instincts have been honed as a result, leading to evolution into Obstagoon. So we got some cool little lore there. Also, it uses Obstruct before counterattacking. Uh, though Obstagoon is extremely combative, it seems that it doesn't often uh, launch the first attack. It will taunt the opponent, goading into attacking. When it does, Obstagoon will cross its arms and meet with the oncoming attack with its Obstruct move. So uh, that is really interesting. We don't really have a whole lot of information about that, but uh, that does seem like this thing's gonna have an interesting gimmick, and I'm excited to see what they do with uh, Obstagoon. Next up, we have my favorite bit of information that we received, and this is a new Galar form for Weezing. The first thing I thought about when I saw this was like, holy shit, they gave this thing the Alolan Executor treatment. <laughs> so he's got uh, the big top hat working. First of all, we gotta just admire this thing's design. Uh, it has like smog as its mustache and like facial hair and uh, <laughs> he has like smokestacks for a, like a 10 gallon hat and uh, call this boy Doug Dimmodome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimmodome. But I do really like the color scheme of this thing. I think that the black uh, with the green looks pretty damn cool. I really was not sure what to think about this when I first saw it, but it's kind of grown on me and I actually really do like the concept. Uh, it does seem like it fits in the Gala region. It's really industrial uh, with the smokestack kind of thing going. And uh, the most interesting thing about this is it's actually poison and fairy type. So I was when I first saw it, I was initially thinking that it was going to be uh, like poison and fire type, considering it's got the smoke going. Um, but hey, he's got the fairy type, which makes it extremely viable for competitive. I honestly do think that this is going to be 
probably one of the more popular defensive walls. Um, that typing is super unique, and I think that it can probably do a lot with that. So, um, the other thing I did notice is that it doesn't actually have an unknown ability, which I think is super exciting. That probably means that this thing is going to get some type of uh, completely new ability that we haven't seen before. And, uh... I'm interested to see what you guys think that this thing's secondary ability might be. I think it has to be something to do uh, with the gimmick. So essentially, what they're saying is that it uh, purifies the air around its face, and then what comes out of the smokestack is purified air, which is pretty damn cool. So I could see this ability being something along the lines of like purifying the air, maybe getting rid of uh, weather condition or something like that. But it emits purified air from the tops of its heads. Uh, so it consumes polluted air and poisonous gases for sustenance. The air and gases absorbed uh, will have toxins removed before spewed out again from the tops of its heads. Apparently the air produced through this purification process is very clean. Uh, so it gathers gas around its mouths. The toxins accumulated uh, within Weezing's body form into concentrated poison gas clouds that leak out, of a, leak out and drift around it. This gas is so potent that even a whiff is enough to stun and immobilize opponents. Uh, it's Weezing's best weapon during battles. So maybe we might see some type of uh, kind of wheezing exclusive move com coming from that so I think that has a lot of potential but overall I honestly just think that Galarian wheezing is pretty badass. I feel like even if its secondary ability isn't all that great it does still have access to levitate which is amazing uh, it doesn't get hit by the ground attack so that makes uh, its type com uh, combination even better so I think that there's a lot of potential for this thing and I do think that uh, Galarian Weezing is going to be super popular and competitive I know I'm definitely going to use this thing because I've always really liked Weezing and uh, I'm glad that they gave this thing some love so it's exciting to see that they chose uh, a gen 3 Pokemon with Zigzagoon and then also they're going back to Kanto and giving this thing a new form so um, that should be pretty fun. So that's all that we got to see for the Galarian forms. Uh, one thing I do want to ask of you guys is leave a comment letting me know which Pokemon you think uh, deserve Galarian forms the most. Uh, I think that Shuckle needs one, obviously, and my boy Dunsparce. Those, those are the two that I think could really benefit from Galarian forms. And there's also probably a lot of really cool stuff that they could do with them. Uh, but yeah, that is our boy Galarian Weezing. And the last bit of important news that we got uh, was actually we got access to information about an entirely new Pokemon and this one's actually pretty cool. So this is more Pico and this is the full belly mode. Um, so this is a Pokemon that gets access to a secondary form which I think is cool and I do like, uh, I think we could use some more Pokemon that have secondary forms. Uh, they're really fun to play with and I think that uh, it does add kind of just another level to competitive battles. But if we're going just off of design I think that this thing does leave a lot to be desired it looks like a badly drawn Pikachu, like he's one tooth in the middle, just looking kind of dumb here, buddy. But um, overall, I think that it does have a lot of potential. It's electric dark type, but I think that actually means that the base form is actually just electric. And then when it changes form, uh, it does just turn into dark. I, I could be wrong about that. They haven't given us a whole lot of information. Uh, but if it's electric dark, that is an all new type combination, uh, I believe. So. Uh, more Pico, he does have a secondary form, and this is the hangry mode, which I think is actually hilarious. So, um, the thing about this is, in order to change um, forms, you have to use its, uh, its, its move called Aurora Wheel. So that's, I'm guessing, an exclusive move to More Pico, which changes it from electric to dark type, which is awesome. I do think the base form is actually probably electric dark. I don't know why they would say electric dark if it wasn't... Uh, the like if that wasn't the typing but maybe this thing turns into just completely dark type uh, but overall I do think that this thing's design is a lot better um, it's got that cool color scheme going and this boy looking evil as hell so I think it's hilarious they went with a hangry mode um, I'm assuming that this thing gets quite the buff in attack stat um, I mean when you're hangry you're pretty damn powerful so um, it looks like it changes back to the original form after an attack. Uh, I also could be wrong about that, but I'm assuming that this thing gets quite the stat boost. Um, it probably lowers its defenses, but if you can get an attack off with a hangry mode, more Pico, it's probably gonna do quite a bit of damage. So uh, I think it's pretty awesome that they hit us with um, a Pokemon that has a secondary form. It'll be interesting to see uh, kind of the stats about this thing, and uh, maybe there might be some lore about this thing being somehow related to Pikachu, kind of like Mimikyu, but uh, I don't know, there's got to be more to the story, I'm sure we're going to get some more news uh, about all the Pokemon that have been listed in this video, but uh, 
we do have a little bit more information about it. It's always hungry, no matter how much it eats. And uh, same, buddy. Uh, but it constantly generates electricity with the sacs in its cheeks, consumes energy, causing more Pico to be constantly hungry. This is why more Pico is always carrying around berry seeds, protecting them with care. Uh, they serve as a snack. So its appearance changes when it gets hungry. Um, they don't mention anything about any stat changes, which is unfortunate, but uh, when experiencing prolonged hunger, the balance of hormones within more Pico's body changes. This causes the fur color to change and triggers more aggressive and volatile behavior. The energy stored in his cheek sack also changes from electric type to dark type. So I'm assuming actually it probably just goes straight from electric to dark, uh, base form being just solid electric. So maybe this thing goes, this thing has something to do about the Black Plague, man. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that is pretty much all we got in terms of uh, what I wanted to talk about today. I'm always interested when there's new Pokemon coming out and giving some speculation and just kind of giving my thoughts about it. So yeah. Uh, if you guys could help me out, don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed this. And also, leave a comment letting me know which Pokemon you think should get Galarian forms. And also, I want to know what uh, unique type combinations uh, you would like to see out of the Gala region. Because it seems like they're going to be hitting us uh, with some never-before-seen stuff. So, let's see, uh, let's see what you guys can call before they happen. Peace out, guys.